Good afternoon. Today we're at Walmart to check up on some of the things that you have asked about. We're going to look at some of the sale prices, some of the shelves. Let's get to it. One thing we have noticed is that they are condensing a lot of stuff here at Walmart. Condensed a lot of stuff down because they're not getting as much as they used to, at least for now. Right before so Christmas. Me and Jess usually get these cuties here. Used to be $2.99. Now they're $4.12. We've seen these as high as $5 for three pounds. That's a bit much. Some of you guys left comments about some of the lettuce here at Walmart. One thing I will say, at least at ours, some of this doesn't look that great. Market side, I don't know if it's been sitting here for a while. It says best if used by December 21st, so that's next week. But the lettuce just doesn't look good. I know it's cheap, but you know, it's cheap. I do have the organic mixes here for $2.98. That's about the same price as we see at Kroger. We have seen celery a little bit cheaper at Kroger, and honestly, Kroger looks a little more fresh than this. The thing I wanted to point out are the peppers here are $1.38. They are $1 a piece at Kroger right now. Lots of bags of apples, ones that are cheap, seem to be missing, but they do have quite a selection. But they are $3.97 for a three pound bag. Kroger's has Gala and Granny Smith apples for 99 cents a pound right now. As we can see here, Granny Smith apples are $1.57 a pound and the Gala apples are $1.47 a pound. So Kroger's wins the deal for apples for the week. 10 pound bag of russet potatoes is $5.97. Sounds a little extreme for potatoes. Got the bagged russet potatoes here for seven dollars and that is eight pounds sheesh they have a ton of these canned popcorn tins that you give away for christmas not real big on these i know a lot of people like them i don't know every time i seem to give me one of these the popcorn is stale but they have these for five dollars check this one out on pineapples dollar 78 each that's a pretty good deal, and they look great. Well, not that one, but the rest of them look pretty good. I always want to get the ones that have the darker, darker color. To each his own on those. I've heard people that like the lighter ones. I know a lot of people that like the darker ones. I prefer the darker ones. So I was here the other day, did not do a video, and I will say there are a lot of pumpkin pies that have been bought up. This was completely full. However, they are completely full on Cool Whip. Lots of people have said that you have had trouble finding Egos. I will say, doesn't seem like it's been too big of a problem around here for a little while, at least in Cincinnati. Uh, Walmart seems to have the most that I've seen out of the Egos, And they do have a lot of their breakfast sandwiches here, the great value. Uh, kind of get mixed reviews on these. I've never actually tried these. I usually get the Jimmy Dean ones, but I might have to eventually because Jimmy Dean has been low, but look at this. They are packed high. Eight count for $10, which is really, I know that's a little much, but that's the new normal for the Jimmy Dean croissant with sandwiches. That's pretty much how it goes. I think it's $6 for four of them, so you do save a little bit. I don't know if they have the four count. Uh, looks like, yep, there's the four count right there. You can see $6. Kroger Marketplace yesterday, the ice cream looked like it was very full. Does look like things kind of go a little quicker. Hey, look at that. Look at that. I guess somebody wanted to keep their apple pie toast crunch cold. They really do spread their ice cream out because it does seem like Walmart has had trouble keeping ice cream on the shelves. Now I just, I'm just comparing this to what it was in previous years. There's never been this low on ice cream. And what's funny is the homemade. Now homemade is a Cincinnati made product at United Dairy Farmers. It is more of the premium ice cream of UDF. And I don't understand why they're having trouble keeping it in um, when places like Kroger seem to be fully stocked on it. Maybe they're just, maybe they got more things that sell higher here than at Kroger. I'm not really sure, but yeah, my favorite ice cream is not here. That's all I know. And if you're curious to what my favorite ice cream is, it is the homemade peanut butter and chip. Some of you guys were talking about the burritos and frozen burritos being very low. And I've seen a lot at Kroger, but it does look low here at Walmart. 
this is some of the stuff you guys were asking about, like DiGiorno. Some of your stores don't have any. Walmart seems to be getting more than they need. It looks like Uncrustables running a little low. Starting to run out of them again. We're seeing this all over the place. Now I point this out because this is something that you guys have talked about that has been missing. Uh, they got Hot Pockets, these big thing of Hot Pockets. We're seeing more and more of this. Not selling the smaller boxes. I kind of feel like Walmart is doing a lot like Sam's Club with these kind of things and just making sure that they get the big value packs in where you get more bang for your buck. Same goes for things like pizza rolls. You guys have mentioned pizza rolls. We've talked about it in several videos. A lot of the smaller bags are gone, but they have plenty of the bigger bags, which is a better deal anyway. You guys have talked about these Tyson chicken nuggets here. The two pound bags are $6.42. That's actually not that bad of a deal. What's even better is that they actually have them in. We noticed these were gone for a long time and they're finally starting to get these back in. Still a lot of Tyson products missing, but they are getting more in, more and more. The chicken strips, some people have asked about those. That's $8.43. Even though the prices seem to be pretty high on these, they are starting to get the CPAC uh, products back in. The shrimp scampi is really good. $6.42. Um, not a very big portion of it, but that is a pretty good price. I've seen that as high as $7.99 at Kroger. Uh, they do have the family size packs for a little more. Uh, probably a little bit better of a deal. The popcorn shrimp's actually really good too. I'm surprised to see that. I haven't seen that one in a while. So here's something that I haven't seen in a long time. They actually have the RB seasoned curly fries back in. $2.63 seems like a pretty good deal. Looks like fries and tater tots are making a comeback. Also, these rallies ones, I would actually choose these over the Arby's. Uh, similar in seasoning, but I think the rallies has better seasoning. And as we can see here, they have plenty of the great value fries, which we had seen in previous weeks that they had run completely out of. And they got a lot of the Orida and different kinds of fries here with the Walmart, the shredded, the crinkle cut, tater tots. It's good to start seeing these things come in. They knew they were getting wiped out. They knew they had to do something. And now they're starting to get them back in. Decent prices on all of it. This is a lot more frozen fruits than I have seen here in a long time. I know a lot of you guys were asking about frozen fruits and that they were near non-existent at some of the places you are. Good to see they have a lot here. Price for the Berry Medley, $268 and a lot of different uh, organic great value options. I don't know if these are great deals, 282. You know, prices are different depending on you know how much the fruits actually cost, I guess. For the most part, they do seem to have some frozen vegetables. These seem to go a lot faster than frozen fruits. They have their mixed vegetables. I do like these for a dollar. Got their sweet corn, bird's eye sweet corn. And again, this is bird's eye, not Walmart brand, but not a bad deal. Uh, some of the greens and stuff like that are a little more, like the Brussels sprouts are going to be a little more $1.97. A little more pricey, but they do have the green giant steamers that people were asking about. You can, I believe you can just put these in your microwave. I don't really care much for those, to be honest with you, but I know a lot of you guys like them out there, so I just wanted to show them that Walmart does have them in. does seem like microwave meals, like the healthy choice. We saw that there were a lot of healthy choice missing at Kroger yesterday at the marketplace, but you know, they do have them in. They are spreading this stuff out. We're starting to notice this more and more, make it look like they have more than they actually have, which I don't blame them because it does make it look nicer, you know? And uh, hey, actually got some hungry mans in. We haven't seen that in a while. Actually got a bunch in. A lot of the same kinds, but that's okay. At least they're getting them in. Got the Mega Bowls, the Banquets. We've seen these take a serious hit as of late. Looks like they got these back in. They are up to $1.50 now. Doesn't seem like any more deals. Dollar a meal on Banquet. Uh, you do have to ask yourself, like, well, would I rather just spend the extra few cents and get a different brand? Here we see they have Jessica's favorite Popeyes here. They were out of these at Kroger yesterday. Completely wiped out of them. Looks like they have a few here. Not too bad of deals. 
Got other Marie calendars. Looks like this is a lot more full than it was a few weeks ago. There's a lot of stuff missing. It's just going to be like that, but at least they're getting some of it in. They have got ramen noodles all over the place. They have got plenty of the creamy chicken that everybody has asked about. Even though I have some, I'm going to buy some more. I know it was so hard to find creamy chicken ramen. It's been hard to find creamy chicken ramen for years, not just over the last year or two. I don't know if it was an ingredient thing or it just cost them more to make. The Campbell's here, $1.58 a can. Still cheaper than Kroger, but we've seen it as low as 98 cents a can. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes down here in a few days for the holidays. Actually, I don't know. I have no idea. $1.58 a can though, still too high for me. They are definitely getting in a lot more of the apple sauces that you guys were asking about. The Mott's here. I don't know if the Great Value brand is good. I always buy Mott's. Mott's is good. Um, they do have a lot. They got a lot of these fruit cups. The Great Cherry. The Great Cherry. The Great Value. But yeah. Yeah, a lot more than we've seen. And Dole. Dole we have seen has been starting to come back too. I know a lot of you guys were asking about these. $2.50, it's about as good as the price I think you're gonna get. Let me know down in the comments if any of you have heard of anything going on with bush beans, bushes beans. Uh, we've been seeing less and less everywhere. I mean, they do have, you know, like I love the grilling beans and stuff like that, but it's been very few. And for what they do have, you can see here, it's not much. And it wasn't much at Kroger, and I haven't seen a lot of bushes being, so I don't know if something's going on, or if they're just having trouble getting it in. Who knows? And now for the Isle of Destruction. It looks like cereal is still the same as it was. Here's something Jessica would like, being the Disney fan she is. Make some eggs or pancakes with these little guys. Not a bad price either, $2.97. You pay $20 for that at Disney World. We are noticing, though, that they are spreading stuff out, you know, things that they can to make the shelves look more full. I understand, you know, it makes it look better, but, man, have you ever seen so many Frosted Flakes or Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I mean, <laughs> I understand they're different sizes. $5 for a mega size, one pound and 13.1 ounces. Seems like a pretty good deal. It's a good thing they still got our Honey Nut Cheerios. We still got more than half of a box of the last time we were here and got the big guy, 498. That one is one pound, 13.4 ounces. That is a great deal. We love our Honey Nut Cheerios. As far as Kellogg's goes, okay, so we got something. Cocoa Krispies. They do have the Frosted Mini Wheats. Been seeing a lot of issues with raisin bran. I don't see any raisin bran at all here. None. I take that back. I found some great value raisin bran here. Uh, people are buying up Post and whatever other kind of raisin brands they have. I have tried this before. I do not like it. Um, Kellogg's was my raisin bran, but I don't know. It's hard to find it anymore. Big issues with Nutri-Grain bars running low. We knew this was going to happen. Uh, all kinds of snacky stuff. People are buying up. They don't even know how to fit this in right. But, you know, it is what it is. Pop-Tarts seem to be pretty good. A lot more Pop-Tarts than we've seen in a while. Some of you guys were commenting on how Kool-Aid has had a massive recall and some other things like Coca-Cola and uh, those expirate, or you have to check the expiration date and the number online that matches with what it was. Usually they do a good job of pulling that stuff off the shelves. We have seen like these kind of lunch drinks, snack drinks, kids take to school drinks, whatever you want to call them. Had a lot of trouble getting these in everywhere, even before this recall. Some of you all have mentioned a lot of tea missing in your stores. I will say Walmart seems like they have plenty, uh, all different kinds of tea. I got the Twinnings that some of, one of you asked about. Uh, this is one of Jessica's favorite kinds of teas too. Glad to see they have that in. And they got the bigger boxes here. That's pretty awesome. $6.54, that don't sound like too bad of a deal. Uh, I believe this is one somebody asked about, the Fruit Tea Sampler, $2.37. Not sure if these are great deals. I don't drink much tea. If ever. Jess does though, but she usually sticks to the Twinnings or Lipton, which they do have Lipton too. A lot better on coffee than they were the last time we were here. Some of you guys asked about the McCafe. Not that it was missing, just that you liked it. Thought I'd point it out. They do have it. 
they don't seem they don't have the smaller boxes and i don't like when people don't have those because if it's one i just want to try i always like if they have the smaller boxes of some of these in case i just want to try one i'm not sure if it's something that i will like so i don't want to buy like a big thing of it you know if i've never had it before but yeah for the most part good on coffee and ground coffee everywhere always seems to be pretty good on ground coffee because i feel like pods are the thing nowadays um, I do have a regular coffee maker. I don't use it as much because I'll tell you what, it is pretty convenient with those pods, but you're going to save way more money if you get ground coffee or beans, you know, depending on what you buy. I guess they're starting to sell Tim Hortons coffee here now. Okay, that's cool. Tim Hortons is pretty good coffee. So they have plenty of Ritz crackers. One thing I wanted to show you though, is remember when we were at Kroger, Townhouse. What's going on with Townhouse? Are they on strike two? Is that a, that's a Kellogg's thing. Okay. Yeah, I forgot that was made by Kellogg's. Not many townhouse crackers. They do have some of the club crackers. Yeah, just something else on the list. Looks like they have got a lot of Lunchables in too. Uh, we saw this at Kroger and a few other places, so they must be starting to get these back in. That's good to see, because I know a lot of people like their Lunchables. Some of the things you guys always ask about are the biscuits. Now we've been buying our biscuits the Aldi version, which is always a dollar. These are two dollars for the Pillsbury. I gotta tell you though, I really like the Aldi ones. Um, but yeah, they're only two bucks here. That's a pretty good deal. Normally we see them for about $2.99. It'll probably go back up after the holidays. One thing's for sure, they do have plenty of butter. Uh, we saw this at Kroger for three dollars for the small one, $2.38. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, hey, and they got the family size butter here. This is usually at Sam's Club. That's usually where we buy it. There's no price here for it. Um, but this is usually $3.99 here. So this is probably $4.99. Much better deal. Lots of cream cheese issues though. What is wrong with Philadelphia? Not getting the spreads in again. Uh, they do have some of the original. They are loaded down on their great value cheese. Don't usually get the great value brand. Um, 218 we've seen it cheaper at Meyer, Kroger. I don't know, that's a little high for cheese. Let's see what the weight is. Usually it's 8 ounces. Oh, okay. This is 16 ounces. Wait a minute. No, but that says 8 ounces, so this ain't the right price. This is 218 for 8 ounces. This is not 218. So, yeah, glad I checked that. Some of you guys were asking about single craft American cheese. Looks like they have a lot of American cheeses here. Not like the scare we had here a few weeks ago when they were completely out of cheese. I mean, no kidding, they were out of cheese. So I just noticed here they have the spiral cut brown sugar double glazed Sam's Choice hams for $1.28. That seems like a pretty good deal, $1.28 a pound. They got Superior's Tavern boneless ham for $3.73 a pound. This is just a bigger whole ham here, I think. This says $3.34 a pound. I don't know. Then they got this one for $3.12 a pound, which is the semi-boneless ham for $3.12 a pound. Now on the other side, just past the other hams, the other Sam's Choice was down there, but they have the honey-cured double-glazed hams. And these are it's for Sam's Choice. These are $1.28 a pound too. These are definitely the best deals. I don't know if it's the best quality. It does look like some of the meats have taken a hit since the last time we've been here. Not surprised. Uh, I don't know how much this John Morrell bacon is. There's no price. I know it's not $9.98 for a pound. Less than a pound, 12 ounces. You got the black label bacon that I always get. Uh, $7 here, as we saw at Kroger. It was $5.99, I believe. Lunch meat, sausages, stuff like that, kind of hit or miss. I got the Hillshire Farm and Cons. These are, look pricey, $5.84, but this is the one pound family size. Uh, so that's really not that bad of a deal. So these sparkling ice drinks, I know are pretty popular anyway. But one of you guys have mentioned that a lot of them are missing. Uh, does seem like they're missing here at Walmart too. These ones for a dollar. Got their own here for 52 cents. Yeah, this might be new on the list. So this is what I was telling you about Pringles the other day. They're all $1.70 a can now. Doesn't seem like there's going to be any deals on Pringles. That is unfortunate. I knew this was going to happen. 
Another issue with Gatorade. I had a weird feeling at Kroger yesterday when we saw that entire long, huge aisle that was spread out of so many different, not different Gatorades, all the same ones, that this was gonna be an issue. Well, we're seeing it here at Walmart again. They never really get as much Powerade as they do Gatorade, but see it for yourselves. Pretty wiped out. Maybe they'll get it in, maybe they won't, but if you drink Gatorade, I would definitely consider buying it up when you see it to know you got it. I've already bought a bunch, so I'm good for a while. But I knew this was gonna happen. It's like they have the whole butt roast for $1.94 a pound. That doesn't sound like too bad of a deal. Pork roast. You got the ribs here, the Tyson ribs for, oh, these are the St. Louis ribs. Okay, yeah. Tyson St. Louis rib style, 468 a pound. Johnsonville sausages are back in, the Italian sausages and the brats. And here we have another situation where their products are not here. So the cheaper ones, that's probably why. Honestly, I've never tried the great value Italian sausages. We usually get this at Kroger, but Kroger's been kind of expensive, 529 for five of them there. And let's see, the Johnsonville 512, which ain't much better. This is where we get a little pricey. Uh, five pound, well, okay, five pound, 80, 20 for 17, 64. And then they have these big, you know, recently they've gotten these big 10 pounders in, 32, 56. So, I don't know. I mean, it's nice to be able to just, if, if you don't need it right now, to just put it in your freezer, because this could go up higher, who knows? Uh, they do have these slow cooker beef things. $17. We've seen that cheaper everywhere. Not sure about the pounds though. So this is almost four pounds. So that could be a pound differential that we've seen because I know we've seen these as low as $13.49, but it might be a lower weight. Uh, these are good though. It's easy to use. As far as steaks go, well, it is what it is. $10 a piece for strip steak, $12.47 a pound. Not a good deal at all. And you can get this one big T-bone here, 1.28 pounds for $16. It's just really pricey, really pricey. They do have these ribeyes. This is 1.29 pounds, $16 for one steak. They do have a lot more pork than we have seen as of recent. Uh, some of these seem like pretty decent prices. 1.2 pounds here for 6.77 of these thin sirloin chops. That's some kind of deal here. 20 cents per pound off. This is three dollar or three pounds, about three pounds for 17 dollars. It's all going up, guys. All meat is going up. Two pounds here for seven dollars and 22 cents. I mean, you know, that's about normal, I guess. Normal might be a little cheaper at Aldi's. We've been eating Aldi's chicken lately, and it's pretty good. Um, good deal on the drum legs. Let's see, $1.42 a pound, uh, about five pounds here, $7.53, that's really good. Now this is where the prices hike up. Uh, five pounds for chicken wings, $17. That's a little much. Came over here to the toilet paper aisle. Looks like they are pretty well stocked on toilet paper. Absolutely. every. Every trip we've been here over the last few weeks, I would say, they've been pretty good on this front. Lots and lots of paper towels. Some of you guys were talking about trash bags being an issue. Well, it does seem like they have plenty here at Walmart. Um, looks like they're pretty stocked up. Trash bags are another thing in the future that we are gonna be buying at Sam's Club because you guys have left a lot of comments of how their brand is really good and you save a fortune. So, like I was saying before, it looks like Fancy Feast is making a bit of a comeback. Seems like Walmart does have quite a bit of it here. I know a lot of you guys have been concerned about cat food, us too. And uh, they do seem like they're getting a lot more in. This is good to see. Uh, Friskies, as we've seen, has been slowly coming back. And they have a lot of the big boxes. I would recommend getting the big boxes. That's what your cats like. Buy those up. I know some like variety, but... 60 cents a piece don't seem too bad for friskies with everything going up like crazy yeah i mean you know they're still out of a lot of stuff but at least they're getting it in it's finally starting to come in 
they seem to be pretty good on cat litter here. I have, uh, I know a lot of you guys ask about the tidy cats ones. It does look like they are stocked up pretty well on baby food, as Walmart seems to always be. So I am back from Walmart. Interesting trip. Uh, seen a lot of new things coming in. A lot of old things going out. That's just the way it's going to be, guys. I don't really know what to say about it other than, you know, we just have to roll with the punches. I'm glad to see that they're getting in a lot of hams. Um, lots of choices. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure uh, which of those hams I would buy. Let me know down in the comments if you do a ham for Christmas. What kind of ham would you buy? Uh, I always go with honey baked. I know it's a little expensive, but we love honey baked ham. We have one not too far from here. Seems like even with Christmas a week away, Walmart is as good of the prices as they're going to get. I don't think we're going to see any more deals. Doesn't look like they're ready to put deals out there. It, it, uh, you guys will be seeing this video on Wednesday, uh, so we'll have like a week and a few days before Christmas. I don't see any more deals than what they already have out there being put on the shelves. That being said, though, I will say that Walmart has some incredible deals all the time. You can always find deals on stuff. You do have to look around and stuff, but for the most part, you're going to always be paying around the same price or less than anywhere else. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. We really appreciate it. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there.